Hello my divine kings and queens, I'm back to do another video and today's message what we're going to be going over is I want you to stop focusing on the stress and the pressure that you're under right now, right? I want you to start looking at the bigger picture and what do I mean by that is understand that everything that you're going through right now that eventually you have that potential and it has the potential to be something greater and better if you keep working on it right and what do i mean is whatever plan whatever idea whatever it is that you're focusing on and you're trying to get off the ground right now i want you to continuously work on that i want you to continuously work on your craft improve your skill set don't give up get all this get negativity away from you get away from these negative people that's telling you what it's not going to be what you need what you don't have what you need to do this and this this that and the third understand that if god blessed you and told you to do a thing then that's what he needs you to do whatever idea you have whatever it is that you want to do i want you to continuously work on that i want you to start believing in yourself more and sometimes it's hard when you don't have people that are rallying for you or, or people that's in your corner that's telling you to do this. Sometimes it's hard when you are trying to get something off the ground and it's failing. But let me tell you something. Every successful person in life has failed at something at one point in time. The key to their success was their perseverance, how they got back up, how they kept pushing, how they kept believing in themselves. It, at the end of the day, it's your idea. It's not everyone else's idea. It's not everyone else's life. So get everyone else out of the equation and you start doing what it takes to get that idea off the ground. You start doing what it takes for you, what you need to do for you. You know what it takes. Only you can really be the person. You can only, only you have that drive to really push your idea or, um, try to manifest something in your life, right? You can't go to other people and tell a person, oh, can you do this for me? Or um, do you think that this is good? Or do you think that this is good? Or whatever the case may be, especially if people don't have that same drive or that same idea as you. So you have the motivation. You are inspired by whatever it is that you went through, whatever, however you was led to do something, you need to do it. And get all these irrelevant, negative people up out your life. Let me tell you something sometimes it's hard to do because you feel like in making those sacrifices, you're going to be alone. But sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good, right? All these other people don't matter because let me tell you something. God made you number one on his list. God made you a priority for a reason because tis is the season. It is your time to shine. And at the end of the day, I heard someone say pressure made diamonds. So keep shining. Keep hustling, keep pushing, keep running, keep walking, keep taking a leap out on faith. Do you understand what I'm saying? Keep putting God first before everything that you do and keep shining. All these other people don't matter. How many times you fail don't matter. Whatever struggles you're going through right now, it does not matter. You have to keep pushing that thing until it pop up because eventually it is. You got to go hard for you if no one else do. Because it's your life. It's your idea. You have to drive and take that initiative to get it to the next level. Can't no one else do that for you. No matter how much pressure you're under right now. Don't break. Don't fold. Rise to the challenge. Strive, keep striving, keep thriving, and keep shining. Shine bright like a diamond, yeah, yeah. Shine bright like a diamond, yeah, yeah. Shine bright. Hey, 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 hey. Keep shining. I don't care what it is. Do you understand what I'm saying? If it failed, let me tell you something. How many times have people failed? How many times have people got and, and, and fell down? They got back up. Y'all some survivors. Y'all warriors. Y'all soldiers. Out on the battlefield. We don't get up. We we Listen, we don't give up. We don't die. We just find a new way. 
to do something. We find a, we, we, we have a new take on life. Use your creativity, okay? To restructure that thing, to restructure that idea and that strategy. Do you understand what I'm saying? But don't give up on it. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on yourself. Don't give the enemy what he wants. No matter how many times you fall down, no matter how many times, how many doors are slammed in your face, keep pushing, keep shining. You're going through this for a reason. The enemy is trying to break you because God is setting you up for something bigger and better in your life. You can get to it if you keep allowing these situations and these people to break you. I keep telling y'all, man, y'all was the diamond in the rough. Y'all went through these situations for something. Listen, you didn't go through these situations for nothing. You went through it for something, for something that God has prepared for you. That's why you went through these situations. That's why every time I keep telling y'all, man, y'all was the diamond in the rough. You was dirty. You was, you know, and people couldn't really see your shine, but you could, while you was going through these situations. But in the midst of you going through these situations, God was looking at how you was handling it. And you handle it with style and with grace, like I told y'all. So for every situation you went through, God saw you take the time to go back, to rethink it, to do it the right way, to do it the just way. And every time he kept cleaning you off, every time you kept doing what he needed you to do, how he needed you to do it, when he needed you to do, he kept cleaning you off. He kept cleaning you off. He kept pulling you through, pushing you through, and he kept cleaning you off. You had that drive to keep doing it. You had the drive to keep going for it. God was just helping you along, clearing out the pathway for you. While he was cleaning you off. You get me what I'm saying? And now people can see your full shine. And who you was always meant to be. What you was meant to be doing. Whatever it is that you're doing. I want you. I want you. And I'm telling you. That you're going to keep going after. You're going to keep going after that dream. You're going to keep being a good mother. A good father. You understand what I'm saying? A good business person, a good career person, whatever it is. I don't care if you're doing a nine to five, baby. We all we all have dreams. We all have aspirations. Whatever it is, that promotion, whatever it is that you're trying to do. You're trying to get a house. You're trying to be the best mother that you can be. It don't come with a handbook. We learn sometimes through trial and through error. No one is perfect. I'm not telling you that you have to be. I'm just saying, keep pushing. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying keep driving, keep hustling, keep running, keep driving, keep calling on God, keep putting him first. Just like keep putting you first, keep putting him first. Represent. Come through when he needs you to come through. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because he cleans you off, baby, for everybody to see you shine. He ain't bring you this far for you to give up now. He didn't bring you this far for you to give up now. You are right there. Keep pushing. Don't give the enemy what they want, which is to see you give up. To see you live in that failure. The best way that you can beat the enemy and one up the enemy is to show them that what they're doing, baby, is not affecting you. No matter how many times they want to see you down and out, you keep rising to the challenge. You keep getting up, putting that band-aid on your wounds, and you keep, you keep walking, you keep running. The enemy just keep looking at you like, what, what is it going to take? What is it going to take to see this person just give up and just stop? They're never going to be able to figure it out because you're never going to stop. Ain't nothing going to be able to stop you. As long as God is with you. JC, back me up. GP, are you with me? You already know what to do. If any of these messages resonate with you, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And tell a friend to tell a friend to join the JC gang. Reach one, teach one. We ride together. We slide together. JC gang for life, man. Y'all not going to give the enemy what they want. I know you're not. I know you're not. Because you're going to play this message every day. You're going to get up every day no matter how you're feeling and you're going to keep thugging it out and you're going to keep pushing and you're going to keep trying to find a different way to accomplish what it is that you want to accomplish in life. Can't nobody else do it for you. It is your life. And if that's how you've been thinking, you got the wrong mindset, baby. Can't nobody do something, especially if people is jealous and envious and don't want anything to happen for you. 
Now you taking the wrong advice from the wrong people who you don't need who you don't even need to have in your life. Period point blank. If no one else do it for you, you got to do it for you. You already know you got God on your team. So if you ain't got no, nobody else on your team, it does not even matter. It shouldn't even it shouldn't even phase you. Because you're going to come out on top. You're already there. Don't let that enemy fool you. Don't let these failures stop you. Don't let that pressure break you. Don't let them struggles hinder you. Let it strengthen you. Let it motivate you even more. Let it inspire you. Let that be your drive. Like, ooh, I, I'm just going to come back hard. I'm just going to come back big. I'm just going to come back stronger. Watch me. And understand that if you need a friend, you know you got it in me. If you need inspiration, motivation, a life example, baby, you know you got it in me. I'll come with that real. I'll come with that fake. All right? I'm your sister. I'm your confidant. I'm that shoulder that you can lean on, that you can cry on. I'm that listening ear that you can vent to. And until next time, I want y'all to stay prayed up and be blessed.